connection to the city or to, to the community itself as a person who grew up here and, and now works for the city. I think it enhances it. I, it's, all, it's definitely important uh, for some people they just don't have that, that relationship or that context. It may not be a lifelong thing, but for me it is. I think one of the things that I, I like about my connection to the city is that my family is spread around and so are my friends from college, from you know, people I've met along the way. So I could be at work and at any point in time, someone will recognize me and they'll shout me out. And I think that's just like one of those things where it, it's heartwarming, you know what I mean? It's like you, you, you have somebody in your corner no matter where you go. And I think that's special. Uh, also just, you know, if you're riding around the city and you see a baseball field that you used to play, you know, all day at, or, you know, a park, or there's a, a pool that you used to go to, that's special because it's a community, it, you know, it, it, you're, you're a part of the fabric of that community. You may not be prominent, you may, your, your face may not be on a, on a statue or a bust outside of it, but you help to create memories there and with other people. That's a connection to a community. And I think when you have those connections, you tend to care more about it. So maybe you don't throw, you know, a piece of paper down on the ground because it's not your front porch or your yard, but it might as well be because you take a personal, um, you know, stake in the community. And I think that's, you know, that that's something to, to, to be said about being from Boston. If you really care about it, you wouldn't trash it, you know? Um, and that's how I've always looked at it. So I've always picked up after myself. I try not to drive fast, you know, in the neighborhood when I was learning how to drive, you know, because that's my front yard. And if it's not mine, it's somebody else's and they're my neighbor. Uh, right now we're at Kelly Field, Sun Hyde Park. Um, this is where I played football. Um, this is one of the fields where I kind of gained my own confidence in myself and was able to sort of learn things about my capabilities and the things that I was good at. So I, I think, you know, I was always, I've always been a small person. So being a smaller, of a smaller stature, I was never like the biggest or the strongest. I was always one of the quickest in any sport that I played. But football was one of those things where it didn't really matter as long as you knew, one, how to, how to be sound, like as far as like your technique goes and then having some heart. I think all of those things kind of taught me a little bit about myself because you're not going to be good every single play. So, you know, there'd be times where I got knocked down on my butt. I'd get back up, put my finger in the dirt and do it all over again. Hopefully I learned a little bit, you know, from the, from the previous play. Um, and it's kind of translated into life. Um, you know, I played baseball, we played catch a second ago with my dad, and that was the first sport that I, I played, but I wasn't good at. I looked good in my uniform, I looked good fielding, but you know, I'd get up and you know, I had a really good stance. I'd be looking and the other team would be like, get back, get back. And then it was just like, strike one, strike two. And they're like, all right, this kid isn't good. But that teaches you a little bit about humility. Like you can't just wake up and be good at something. Um, and we tried, we, we, we practiced every single day, um, but it just wasn't my thing. So I think that taught me a little bit about just, you know, about life. Sometimes you're not gonna be good at something, but if you learn something from it, then it, it becomes a valuable lesson for you. So today, uh, this was a partnership between Diego and Boston, uh, Boston Police, Orange Air, Blue Hills Three uh, Boys and Girls Club, and uh, the B3 uh, station here in Boston Police Department. Basically, we're here to recognize that our youth are important to us, so we had a fundraiser for them. Um, it was a community event, everyone from the Boston Police to our families to our community elders and community stakeholders came out and had breakfast and fellowship to talk about how important it is to raise a village and how committed we are to that end. Diego Boston stands for Latino Law Enforcement Group of Boston. We're uh, made up of Boston police officers and other area law enforcement professionals and our citizens. That's probably one of the unique dynamics of it is that it's not just Boston police officers, it's a mixed community. So we have civilians um, that help us out with some of our community events. We really just want to support and build up Boston in our own way. Um, so we're just trying to, you know, facilitate the growth of Boston within our community.